Hi, this is Maggie Woodward, and I am discussing Module 3, Web 2.0. Um, as for the first question about Professor Wesh's lecture, we only had to watch 20 minutes of it, but I actually watched the whole thing and didn't even realize it until the end. Um, I thought it was really interesting, and he had a lot of really good points. And um, he talked about like how quickly things go, like they travel on the internet. Um, specifically on YouTube, like the Live Your Life song, um, it became popular in all these different countries around the world, like, really fast. And then, um, another example of that is the Charlie Bit My Finger video of the little boy that's biting his brother's finger, and, um, that also traveled around really fast and is one of the most viewed videos on YouTube. Um, he talked about his participant observation, and that's where his, he's a professor at K-State, and that's where his class um, actually had to upload videos onto YouTube, and they were blogging, and um, a lot of them talked about how they didn't know what to say and they felt really awkward, and I feel like that's definitely, re definitely relatable to me. Um, I made my boyfriend go outside while I was recording because I feel weird. And um, they just talked about like how they didn't know what to talk about or what to do in the videos. And I, I definitely relate to that. Um, Professor Wesh also talked about the love story that started on YouTube between the boy and the girl where they were video, like they were posting videos back and forth and a lot of people tuned in and started watching it and got caught up in that story. Another story like that is the lonely girl, and um, she was actually fake, but a lot of people really were interested in that and then they were upset when they found out that it wasn't real. Um, but what I got from his presentation was that things on the internet can be misleading and misunderstood, but so you have to be really careful about like what you say and how you say it and how you want it to be perceived. And um, also everything is just like constantly changing and it travels really fast on the internet. Um, the podcast that I listened to was on Ted Webb on iTunes and it was about the um, Sue Keeble, which is Dylan's mom from the Columbine shooting. and. He murdered 12 students and a teacher, and she just talked about how um, he, she referred to his death as a suicide because he shot himself after he hurt all those other people, but she talked about how he was, he was mentally ill, but he didn't really show signs of it, and then they saw a lot of signs after he had passed where he had written in journals and stuff, and, um, so that's what that was about. Um, should social networking applications like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, Instagram be allowed in the classroom environment? I think so. I think it's a good way for um, teachers to show off like students' artwork or to communicate messages. Um, I think that as long as it's monitored by a, by a teacher, then um, it can be watched for negative things. Because I understand that that can go south pretty quickly, but I think if somebody responsible is in charge of it, then it should be fine. Um, and for the, the third question, after um, using the cloud-based bookmarking tool, um, I used Reddit, and I thought it was a really cool way to share with friends. And I thought it was also really handy because I don't always use the same computer, so that's a cool way to save it and always have the same information that's easily accessible. Thank you.